What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Dead Life. In this episode, we are gonna get back on the dishwasher. Yes, it's still broke. And we have new parts coming. Enjoy the video. Everything in life keeps happening. Murphy's Law happens in three. First, film the first Corvette video. Boom, shear the serpentine belt. Have to replace that. Second, our TV in our living room. Our main viewing TV. Boom, that explodes. We have a sound, no picture. There's the second. Third, the dishwasher. Running one day a couple weeks ago. Smoke comes out, shuts off, won't spray water. Here we go, we need some parts. Water in the valve. Says it's the most common fix, common issue, common part that goes on a dishwasher. Dishwasher's five or six years old, figure it's cheap, 30 bucks. Boom, replace it. Still not work. Positive, brand new water in the valve. Step two, call a appliance repair company. He basically says it's probably your pump. I said, awesome, how much? He goes, 150 bucks. I'm like, okay, how much for labor and all in? He goes, about 300. $300. We're getting to that half price of just buying a brand new dishwasher. We're waiting till a sale and buying a dishwasher for five or 600 bucks. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So, Amazon, eBay, let's get a new pump. 150 bucks, 180 bucks, 75 different part numbers and they're all interchangeable. Whirlpool, Kenmore, madness. Found the part, $72 shipped. It will be coming in this week. Let's fix this dishwasher. I'm about 90% confident. We'll call it like, yeah, we'll see. Let's, let's enjoy it. All right, power of technology. Partisan, let's go. Step one, you're gonna wanna go under your sink, wherever it, the electric is, and make sure, in this case, you unplug the power supply to the dishwasher and also turn the water valve off. So we've already done that. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is, most dishwashers have mounting tabs either up here that secure it two to three, that secure it to the counter. In my case, there's one screw here, one screw here, and it's a torque screw. For this application, it is a T20 torque screw. Put your dishwasher so we're ready to come out. And let me give you an example. You're gonna see. It's ready to break free. However, we've got these two screws. They're like feet, so to speak. And you have to loosen them. Basically, they just level the dishwasher and help secure it to the, uh, the floor. So grab an open at a box wrench or pliers. Um, in my case, I like to use channel locks. Like so, and loosen it. So first you're gonna depress that clip, remove some of these, remove some of these uh, different ground connections. Just re remember to know which one goes on which side. And then what you're gonna do, basically just real quick, match up, make sure the part looks the same. Even if you have the right part number, it's always good to just verify before you dig into this. Unconnect the wiring harness plug here. You're gonna have a clamp here with a hose connection and then just a rubber grommet. You're gonna actually pull from here 
let's wiggle it. Let's try to do this one handed. Pull from there. There's a rubber grommet. Take that off now so you don't forget to reuse it. So let's slip that off. Alright, let's see here. There we go. Got that off. Throw it in your new parts bin. Take the motor out from the rubber grommet here. Now the only thing holding this on is that connection right there. There's so I'm gonna put you down real quick. And we gotta use a flathead. We got it off. And that way. Slide that back on. You're gonna reuse this rubber grommet from the old one. And you'll see that this piece comes on the new one already clamped on the inlet tube. This connector here, this 90 degree bend is there. So slide off this clamp. And if you don't have the expensive PEX, it's called a PEX clamp. You need certain pliers in order to tighten it and loosen it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a simple worm gear clamp up top here. Here we have a rinse cycle going on. Yeah, buddy, we have a rinse cycle going on. Let's check for leaks. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up our dishwasher repair video. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the water inlet valve and also the pump that I use. Again, just reference your user manual online, especially for cross-referencing the part numbers for the right parts for you. All in, we have about 100, um, maybe 110 bucks into the project uh, versus the $300 repair quote. Um, and that still technically would have been without the water valve replacement. So now at least we have a spare water inlet valve. I'm going to keep the old water inlet valve because I don't think that was a problem. So in case the new one ever goes, I can at least throw the old one back on temporarily um, or just use that. Uh, if you're enjoying the video and the content, please hit the thumbs up button, throw a like at the page, comment what you think, and also be sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. That's my cat Santos. He's ready to make an appearance again. Um, thank you guys as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this is Dad Life. Arr.